Okay, this is going to be a new project that I'm working on. I just wanted to show everybody. And yes, I'm going to mention Nikolai Tesla just because it drives that guy batty that I showed you in the last video. So yes, let's go over to something Nikolai Tesla said, which you will see here, three, six, and nine. And we're gonna talk about this and what we're going to demonstrate over here. So, again, I'm going to show you this, but we're gonna do an update on what's happening with this, which was in a previous video. As you see, these 36 batteries are giving me a lot of trouble, but I got it hooked up. They emptied out and this thing has been on recharge for the last two days. And as you see, that is where it's at. Okay? It's charging with that and that amps. You see the wattage. But this thing is taking forever to recharge. And then it'll empty out in about 10 minutes. So that's where we're at with that project. I just wanted to give that a small update. And now let's get back to this project. Okay, we just hooked up to our power source. So you see that the black and the red here is where my power source comes from. We're gonna show that in a minute. Let's go on to the document again. And you see source, okay? And then we have a boost, okay? So then we have the number three and then it goes into store. So let's show what we're doing here. First, we have a Tesseract. This down here is another project, but we have a Tesseract. That's a square within a square. That's what a Tesseract is, not the one you've seen um, in the movies. But this is a Tesseract, okay, a square within a square. Okay, so we're first going to take one of these. Let's see how much power is on there. Of course, good job. And we're going to hook this up to see how much power is coming off of this. So let's get, okay, we got it hooked up. Tesseract is on and we're getting 19.55 see it fluctuating but we're going to count it as 55 so that's what we have to work with okay so we got this coming out of there off of let's look at this As a matter of fact this is the same thing so let's look at the battery and flip that over now we know the input and output of this. That's the input and output. Same thing, same battery, okay? So that's draining away from 100 down to 99. So let's go on to the next step because as we see, we that is our source. The Tesseract was our source. Okay, now we're going down to boost. Let's show that. Okay, we got that hooked up and I wanted to show what we have. We went from the Tesseract. If you didn't uh, remember what the thing, go back to the video and see what this is doing. And this right here, which uh, we're gonna look at that and says, an input of eight to 40 volts, and then it's going to put out 12 volts, okay? And 12 does equal by six. So what is that doing? If we're stepping that up, we're actually stepping it down because this is 16 volts, but it's so weak it can't do anything. So we're stepped that down, which means that we're getting more amperage out of it, usable, electricity what are we getting off of that and there you see it 
okay? That is usable electricity that we can use from this, uh, and this is a step down, okay? This one over here is a step up, but we'll get to that. This is a, a step down. We wanted to get this solar to be usable in this project. So, because this is so weak, even though it had the higher voltage, not amperage, didn't have amps. This has volts. So then we go over here, we step it down, we get this, and then that is going to give us more amps by stepping down that to around eight or seven. Okay, let's go on to the next thing, hook it up to here so we can actually charge this. So that's the next step. So we're back here at our diagram and we've already got the source. That's what the Tesseract was. We already boosted it. That means usable electricity. So you see this represents three. And the only reason why is because we dropped that down from what this is. So we dropped that down to get usable electricity. Why? We're going to store that electricity next. So if we go back over here and we see that we got this battery that we can now store what that is putting out. So we stepped it down, usable electricity, and look at what it's saying here. This is actually saying that our solar is charging this battery, okay? So now we got a load. And as you can see down here, this is the load coming out. We got it hooked to, let's turn that on, a step up. So we want to know if this step up is going to give, some, give us some power. That means, see from store, then boost. And then if you see this, when you get this thing, you guys look, six, store and boost, store and boost. That's how you start doing anything when you want over unity. Let's stop this and check that out. Okay, we got everything hooked up and we're at the boost stage. So let's go to the boost stage. Let's get that around here and see if we can get a good frame for that it takes 12 volts and hooks it up to 43 and 3 amps okay so that means let's count it again we went from the solar we went to a boost convert butt converter into our solar up here down to the battery and then over to this boost converter and what is it as we see if we have it connected here what is it giving us look at that 48.4 volts out and you see it's not fluctuating much just a little over here at the milliamps but it's it's not fluctuating okay so there we now have the source the boost the store the boost as we just showed you in this whole get up here is that solar then this which is what we're going to call it the boost but this is a butt converter but just say that we're boosting the power enough to go in here and charge this battery which it says it is okay now we got that in the battery, which we know is 12 volts. Now, this right here is now stepping this up for energy to be stored. What is the next level? Store. So we're going to store what? 48.4 watts in that battery. And it'll charge that battery. Now, this may turn off because the battery in this one may run out, but this right here will charge it back up like solar will do. And then when it hits this 
uh, the right altitude in there, it will then uh, release the energy in the battery here to go back to this and repeat this and it puts out 48, uh, yeah, 48.4 um, volts, not amps, volts to store in a larger battery. And you continue to do that, you boost that, that 48, and then guess what? Store it in a bigger battery. And then you can split it three times. That's what it means. Now you can take it in two different direct, three different directions, okay? And do what you need to do. And one of those would run a load. So, Nikola Tesla's 369 can be used in many ways. We are using three as a starter voltage and then taking the six and nine or 69 and spinning it. This would be called a battery wheel. Much like the water wheel, the battery will be used boosting and storing electricity. If you can expand your imagination, you can use this in so many various ways. And all of them are usables, not theories. The reason why people quote Nikolai Tesla so much is because he was an engineer and he produced, built and created things that are still around today. Thomas Edison Einstein did not. They were not creators. They were just people who theorized or took advantage of people. So, no more machines like this and calling them over unity. These things are bought from Amazon and they're just simple step ups. But if you follow my designs, you can take this and put, produce a million watts of power. Why? Because this design boosts watts. That means the battery gives you your amps back. So the voltage and the amps, when stored in the batteries, will give you what you need in amps. Those other guys will just give you voltage and lose the amps or amps and lose the volts. This is what's wrong with their systems and they're never going to create over unity. By doing what I'm saying and get a full roundabout like a water wheel, you will achieve over unity. Thank you. Here's something else these other guys won't show you. Here are my test results coming from my electrical bill. As you can see, March, April, May, June, July, and August has decreased my bill from $700 to $200 and lower. The evidence speaks for itself. To create this, alternate or rotate your batteries and you will achieve over unity.